welcome to Blast and Call. I hope you guys are doing well during this MCO period. So today we will be having a prayer session by Reverend Leong. And if you notice that your friends are not here yet, go ahead, hurry up and text them, tell them to join us. We'll be happy to have them around. And without further ado, let's head off into our worship session. Whether now or then, death is not my end. I know heaven waits for me. And though the road seems long, I'll never walk alone. I've got all I need to see. I know you love me. I know you found me. I know you saved me, and your grace will never fail me. And while I'm waiting, I'm now waiting, and oh, heaven lives in me. Should I suffer long? This is not my home. I know heaven waits for me. Though the night is dark, heaven knows my heart. I've got all I need to see. I know you love me. I know you found me, I know you saved me, and your grace will never fail me. And while I'm waiting, I'm not waiting, I know heaven lives in me. So I will sing like a wind. In the fearless light of glory Where the darkness cannot find me And your face is all I see Oh, I will sing like a man With no sickness in my body Like no prison walls can hold me I will sing like I am free Cause I know you love me I know you found me, I know you saved me, and your grace will never fail me. And while I'm waiting, I'm now waiting, I know heaven lives in me. So I will sing like I will. In the fearless light of glory Where the darkness cannot find me And your face is all I see Oh, I will sing like a man With no sickness in my body Like no prison walls can hold me I will sing like I am free Cause I know you love me I know you found me, I know you saved me, and your grace will never fail me. And while I'm waiting, I'm now waiting, I know heaven lives in me. I'll see and hold. Oh, 
let it be. We will sing holy, holy, the earth, Christ, holy as it is. Brothers and sister, uh, good afternoon. It is my pleasure, no, to share with you before you sit for the examination to encourage you. But I want to take this opportunity to encourage you, not just on this single event of exam, but what you can do throughout your life. You know, this is only the beginning of your life. You have chances or opportunity to get good education. It is a gift of God. We must be thankful for God through our parents and through our school. It provides us this opportunity. It is God equip you with great education so that you can do great things in your life. But, however. A lot of time we are facing challenges and adversity in our life. How can we overcome this? So today I want to share with you three points. The first thing is that we must we must be focused. You know, we must focus on the thing that are on hand. The, the second thing I want to share with you is that we must determine to be an overcomer. And then the third thing is that you had hope in your life because God loves you. So let us look at the focus on the thing that is on hand. In the situation we are in now, in the COVID nineteen or this pandemic, actually a lot of us are facing adversity. We cannot go to school. We have to study through this Zoom, and it is very difficult for some of us to focus on our study now. So that is the challenge. We lost our focus. What do you mean by focus? You say, Pastor. Focus is that you spend your effort and you spend your time on certain thing. That is called focus. What are you focusing on now? Are you focusing on something that are important, or are you focusing on wasting time? So, brothers and sister, we must focus on our study now. We may face a lot of adversity, but we don't focus on the adversity, especially those adversity that are outside of us. I want to remind you. Ah,、uh, I want to remind you to study as you have this chance. Some of us know we might have a bad grade just before this, but. We don't focus on those. We focus on what is at hand. What is at hand now? Maybe you study one subject at a time, one equation at a time, one sentence at a time. You are you lack of wisdom. You can ask God, because God is the provider of all wisdom and understand. He will provide for those who ask from Him. You know, and this is what make us grow. You know. This is what makes us grow, brothers and sisters. We focus on what God has provided for us, and we work hard on it. Life, actually, life, brothers and sisters, will put a lot of obstacle before you in your life. No, like what you say just now, uh, uh, pandemic, 
is the obstacle. Maybe our bad grade is another obstacle. Our disappointment and maybe somebody looking down on us is our obstacle. But we don't focus on that. We focus on what we need to do. We need to do is study and study hard. Remember again just now what I say. I say focus is spend time and effort on doing what you should do. So focus on your study now. One day, you will excel in your study and you have more opportunity to get good education, to learn more, to do more for the kingdom of God and to glorify and inspire others. The second thing we have to talk about is that we must have the determination you know, to be an overcomer. We talked about uh, some of the obstacles just now. But the biggest challenge is our anxiety and our feeling of disappointment of giving up that causes us. We feel a loss and some emptiness is not uncommon. But through God and through one another, we can encourage one another. Like the Bible tells us, be strong and courageous because God will be with you wherever you go. So wherever you go, God will be with you. You cannot see God, but you can see the brothers and sisters that are sitting around you or in this Zoom together with you. We can work together. The devil try to kill, steal and destroy. He will put some bad thoughts or unproductive thoughts into our mind. Saying that we cannot, we have a bad regret. We cannot, that subject, saying that we, we are poor in certain subjects forever. But brothers and sisters, I tell you that is not true. I used to be, my, my English used to be very bad, you know. But during the time of study, I did overcome it. And even my Malay also, I did overcome it because I put time and effort. I did not believe in those lies they are telling to me, you know. And even worse, you know, brothers and sisters, some of my classmates I saw, when they have this bad thoughts in them, they will look for like-minded people, like-minded friends and gather together. They gather like-minded people to kill, steal and destroy together, not killing themselves, but also killing others. So you know how's the outcome today. We are grateful that we have this, our, our friends from this church and also from our school, like-minded. We want to be an overcomer through Christ who strengthens us. So if you have like-minded overcomer, we can have a group determination. All of us want to excel in our study, want to glorify God's name through our study. So we can do it together. Yesterday doesn't determine your destiny. But what you do now determine your destiny. So now you have to invent your future. Do it now. What you do now will determine your future. Have determination to be an overcomer, brothers and sisters. You know, sometimes we have feeling inside. Maybe we do not have a, a good background or come from a very rich family. Or even we come from a very rich family, but we feel that we cannot do. We don't have a future. But this feeling, is it true? I tell you it's not true because Bible tells us God has prepared a future to bless us and to prosper us. So that is the truth, you know. It's not our feeling only. Because you, you are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. You deserve every success that are available in this world. Every achievement that are available in this world. But brothers and sisters, with all this, you know, we need to focus and we do it together, brothers and sisters. I will encourage you to form study group. We do it together. I will urge you, brothers and sisters, to send encouragement to one another. If you have problems in your study, you know, if you have problems in your study, you know people can help you, you know, in this group. So brothers and sisters, as you are doing good, in your study, you are obliged to help the brothers and sisters that are doing that, not that good. So please spend your time to help one another. Even 
you don't know what to do, you can ask the teacher. You can you can ask our leaders also. So let us help one another to prepare our examination. Do your part. Focus on what you should do. Do not listen to the lie of the devil. You can do it. Determined to be a overcomer. God has prepared a wonderful future for you. Give thanks to God. Study hard. Help one another. Let us pray. Abba Father, I give you thanks for this opportunity to pray for my brothers and sisters in Christ. Who are facing the examination, but Father, you help them to spend time and effort on their study. Also, Lord, let them know, Lord, as long as they have determination, Lord, they can overcome their obstacles outside or inside their hearts, because we know that, Lord, you give them a wonderful future, Lord. A, a future to prosper them, a future to bless them, Lord. So let them grab this opportunity of education that you have provided for them. Let them shine. Let them be your light and salt to the world, Lord. Thank you again, Lord Father. You help them in this study and their future. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, brothers and sister. I'm so glad that I can share with you and pray with you. God bless you in your study. Bye bye. Yo, so that's the end of our prayer session this week. I hope you all had a great time praying to the Lord, and that we will do our best in the upcoming exams. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Want to ask you the one thing that's on my mind? Is it too good to be true for all my life? Can nobody love me like you? Can somebody please tell me who? Nobody could love me like you. Nobody could If I showed you all of the worst in me Would you choose to Still see the best in me Can nobody love me like you Can somebody please tell me who Nobody could love me like you Nobody could